until you see me for who I am. And here's what I learned, y'all. Don't get upset when somebody plays you when you let them get too close to you without affirming you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Jesus teaching us that, y'all. I can't take you to the next level uh, who I am until you first affirm me as your Savior. I can't take you to the next level and reveal to you what I got to go through and, and the, the innermost parts and secrets of me until you first affirm me Thank you, Jesus. as your Messiah. So in Mark 8 and 31, it says that once they recognized him as the Messiah, he began to teach them what he must go through. He began to teach them many things, it says, and, and he, that he must go through many things, and he must be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days, rise again. It's important to me how you think, and it's important uh, uh, to me how you view me, because I'm going to go through something that may change your opinion about me. Oh, man, how, how many times have we gone through something when people loved us in the beginning and high-fived and celebrated us in the beginning, but once we went through it, they labeled us by what we were going through? Right. Who was that sister over there, man? Who who you talking about? You know, a sister, man, that, that, that's always hung, looking for a man all the time. What's wrong with her? <laughs> man, she, man, she be tripping. But who's that brother over there, man? That brother can't never keep a job. He always in and out. Uh, uh, get job, job hopping and all that. What's up with that? Mm -hmm. It's important, y'all, that people know you for who you are because you're going to go through some experiences that's going to change you. Ooh, man, we're going to get to that. Can you handle it? Look at somebody say, can you handle it, man? Can you handle it, man? I don't want to preach, but I ain't going to preach. I'm just going to give it to you just like this, man. I'm just going to give it to you. Uh, uh, here's where it gets dicey. Y'all know I got to throw a monkey wrench in here somewhere. Uh, Y'all know, man. I'm going to throw something in there. I'm going to throw something at you. Uh, uh, here's where it gets dicey. Uh, uh, you will know how you need to handle people by their initial response to what you reveal to them about yourself. You're going to know how you need to handle them by, by your initial response. In Mark 8.32, it says, He spoke this word openly, then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Mm -hmm. So Jesus is telling people openly, man, I'm going to suffer some brutality, I'm going to be murdered, but I'm going to be buried, I'm going to be buried, uh, 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 but, but I'm going to rise again. And so Peter, whole disposition changes. I'm going to show y'all something. Peter's whole disposition changed. He, he, he said, hold on, man. What you talking about, Willis? He pulled Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. I like what Matthew says. Matthew's version. This is where Matthew gets a little better. Be better. Matthew says... Uh, uh, it's better than Mark. Matthew says in Matthew chapter 16, verse 22 through 23, it says, uh, he, he gives a more detailed exchange between Jesus, and, Jesus and, 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 and Peter. It says, then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, I need y'all to get this, saying, far be it from you, Lord, this shall not happen to you. But then Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an offense to me, for you are not mindful. Here's what you got to get. You are not mindful of the things of God, but you are mindful of the things of me. Man, man. Woo, man. What happened here? What just happened here, man? This thing just went ugly, man, real bad. Uh, 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 uh. One minute, Peter is affirming Jesus as the Messiah, and the next minute, they argue. Oh my God! One minute, uh, uh, Peter is saying, "You are my Savior," and the next minute, he's ready to cuss Jesus out. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't see that, man. I told y'all, y'all gotta read in between the lines. He's ready to put Jesus in his place. Now it wasn't as bad as Pookie and Ray Ray when they argued at the family reunion. My God, but it was getting pretty ugly up in there in a minute. And these supposed to be two men of God. I don't know what's going on, but this is in the Bible, y'all. Uh, they're arguing now. They're arguing. 
and and uh, it's an argument nonetheless. So so my question is to myself. I ask myself a question. I said, self, what's going on with Jesus and Peter? Amen. This just don't make no sense. Why why is Jesus and Peter? Doing this. What's up with this? What's up with this? Then it hit me what was really going on. Now, see, most of the time, people uh, say that when, when people look at what Peter did, they say that Peter just didn't want Jesus to suffer like that. He didn't want Jesus to suffer like that, man. He didn't want Jesus to go through all that. So, so, so he just said, Lord, no, you ain't going through that, Lord. You're going to stay with us. You ain't going through that. That's just the religious, and doesn't that sound spiritual and religious, don't it? It just sounds good and spiritual, don't it? He, he didn't want to see him suffer, no. That's why he said that. But y'all know me, I'm, I'm, I, I look at it straight up. I'm sorry, I can't give you a religious answer for why Peter did it, but I got to give you what I see as the truth. Now, you don't have to take it as the truth, but I'm going to give it to you anyway because it's my truth. Amen! Amen. What I see is. Peter didn't say this because he didn't want to see Jesus go through it. Peter said this because he didn't, he didn't like what Jesus was saying about his messianic purpose. <laughs> you see, Peter is upset with what is going on because uh, he has his own idea of what the Messiah's purpose is supposed to be. He has his own idea of what the Messiah is supposed to do. So when Jesus is talking about dying and being buried and rising again, Peter said, I don't agree with this. This is not what I've been told the Messiah is supposed to be doing. This ain't what I was told the Messiah is supposed to be doing. Jesus, you're tripping, man. Jesus, you're tripping, man. The Messiah is supposed to come back and start a revolt against the Roman Empire. The Messiah is not supposed to be getting killed. you tripping. you tripping, man. I ain't trying to hear you. I, I'm not trying to hear this. I'm not trying to go here with you, Jesus. I'm sorry. I know what the Messiah is supposed to be doing. <laughs> Peter was like, hold on now. Hold on, hold on, hold on now. Hold on. I've been waiting my whole life. Can y'all imagine that, uh, that Phil Collins song? Uh, uh, I've been waiting for this moment all of my life. Hold on. That's what Peter started singing, y'all. He just started singing. But no, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, uh, Peter was like, I've been waiting for this moment my whole life, man. <laughs> you can't tell me that you're supposed to die. Amen. You can't tell me that you're supposed to be buried. You can't tell me that you're going to rise again and everything's going to be all right. That sounds good, Jesus. What you drinking, man? What Kool-Aid you been drinking? This ain't gonna work, man. man thank you, Lord. We need another plan, man. Is this your plan? <laughs> Gee, I've been following you all this time, man, and this is your plan? To, to, to die? To be buried? And to rise again? That's all you got? I'm expecting a revolution, man. I'm expecting you to come in here and just take, get some, you some dudes together, and we just gonna storm the city of Rome and, and overthrow the Roman Empire, and here you tell that ain't good enough for me. That don't work for me. You got to give me something else. You, you got to give me something else besides that. Man, I need to know something else about this, man. This ain't going to work. So Peter already has it in his mind. Jesus, this ain't working, man. I can't, I can't support this. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I can't support this. I can't support this. And, 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 and so afterwards, watch this. After Peter rebuked Jesus, Jesus fires back at Peter. <laughs> My God, Jesus comes back at Peter. He, he, he says, get thee behind me, Satan. You are an offense to me, for you are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men. You want to come and spark a revolution like men want to spark, but I need you to be mindful of what God's will is and not man's will. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, uh, in other words, Peter, don't tempt me, man. I ain't a killer, but don't push me. Uh, don't tempt me, man. I, I, I want to do right by my people, but I got to do it God's way and not man's way. Because, oh, man. Peter, you got to understand, man. You and the rest of the fellas got to understand here, my God, that if you are expecting a revolt, so is the Roman Empire. Oh, man, oh, man. So I can't do it.